Hi friends, my name is Shelly Wilson. I'm the pastor of Church of the Isles in Indian Rocks Beach, Florida and Trinity United Church of Christ in St. Petersburg, Florida. And it's my joy to welcome you to this service of worship. We are still worshiping virtually because of COVID-19 and invite you to join us in our online community that is gathered in these remote and yet really knit together kinds of ways during this time. I invite you to receive these announcements as we begin our time together because church wouldn't be church, right? Either together in person or virtually without announcements. That's just part of what church is all about. So I wanted to share with you a couple of things that are happening for our congregations this week and also to um, invite you to join me in some prayers as we begin our time together. First, I want to say, though, that if you're joining us remotely, please know that these two congregations are safe places for you to join with us for worship when we do um, in person again. Know that no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are very welcome here. A couple of things that are happening for us that are important for me to share. One is a reminder to Trinity United Church of Christ that we are having our annual meeting today, uh, Sunday, January 31st at noon. You're invited to be present via Zoom. The link has been sent to you or to show up in person uh, at the courtyard, in the courtyard, outdoors, socially distanced, masked for this gathering um, at the Trinity physically at the uh, physical church building. You're invited to that. Also, a Church of the Isles book group will be meeting today. They also will be meeting via Zoom. The link has been included in emails in the past. And also, you can um, get in touch with the leadership by calling our church office or by calling Marty, Marty for more information about the book group, and she'll be happy to hook you up with others who are interested in being present for that study today that will be happening today at four o'clock. Also, I wanted to mention that Church of the Isles does a lunch once a month for the guests and residents at Pinellas Hope, which is a place that offers services for those experiencing homelessness. And all of those who are interested in helping provide a lunch or helping to volunteer for that ministry at Pinellas Hope uh, all of you are invited to contact Church of the Isles as well, and they will um, get your information and offer ways for you to volunteer and to help. The next time that Church of the Isles will be providing lunch is February 9th, so please mark that on your calendar. The third thing that I wanted to share in terms of an announcement has to do with Church of the Isles and their stewardship campaign. Every church, I suppose, that's like announcements. I suppose every church in one form or another, just like NPR and other nonprofits, we do a stewardship campaign or a pledge drive every year. And Church of the Isles is beginning their stewardship campaign pledge drive beginning today, this coming Sunday. So if you have not yet uh, turned in a pledge card and you're a member of our congregation, or even if you're not a member, but you would like to donate, you can donate at churchoftheisles.org. We have a PayPal, PayPal account and you can do online donations in that way, or you're invited to send in just a one-time donation or to pledge on a regular basis throughout the year. All of those are opportunities for you to give. Trinity also has a similar setup. Uh, they also at um, their website, trinityucc.org, uh, also have an opportunity for you to give. And I hope that you will join us in stewardship during this month. If you are members of these two congregations, if you're a member of Trinity St. Pete, you've already gotten your information, you've already pledged for 2021. If you're a member of Church of the Isles, you will be getting that information this coming week. And I invite you, please, if you would, to return those cards with whatever amount of money that you're able to, to pledge for the coming year. We do understand all pastors, I believe, in these days understand that the pandemic and the economic downturn 
have hit all of us very hard. And we understand that many people will not be able to pledge even what they did in years past. And that's totally understandable and okay. We want everyone to know that whatever um, you can give will be a blessing. And your also your attention, your attendance at these virtual worship services. And when we resume worship in person, all of those things are gifts to our congregations. I wanted to invite you finally to remember all of those whose concerns, illnesses, challenges, and needs are deeply on our hearts during this time. Please, if you would, remember Shirley H. of the Church of the Isles congregation who is suffering from some health concerns and is undergoing tests. Please remember Mel L. who is recovering from knee replacement surgery. Please remember Leslie V. R. who is recovering from a recent hospitalization, actually two recent hospitalizations. Please remember all of those whose names are listed in our bulletin. There's a very, very long list and most of those concerns have appeared here week over week, but please continue to hold them in your hearts for healing energy and for the spirit of the one who lives in the creation as the spirit of love and compassion would bring healing to them and a sense of peace in their hearts. Please also be with all of those around the world. I ask you in your heart, be with those who have lost loved ones from COVID and from other um, health concerns that have um, devastated their bodies. And please be with all of those who are struggling with their mental health during this time as well. This COVID-19 time, as you well know, is very challenging for all of us, and we can offer words of hope and grace to one another. Would you join me as we pray together? Spirit of love, spirit of healing, spirit of light and grace, we open ourselves to the possibilities of new life this day and invite your spirit to be among us and to fill our hearts with peace. We pray, Spirit, for those around our world and for the earth herself, those who are suffering from the ill effects of illness, economic downturn, racial injustice and pain. Oh God, please be with those who are most in need and help us, loving spirit, to find within us new courage for right living, for the common good, to hold one another in heart as siblings in your eyes, beloved each and every one. May we live, loving spirit, grateful, gracious, forgiving, and forgiven. We pray with love and gratitude. Amen. This service of worship invites us to consider the importance of speech, how we have the opportunity to speak words of love that heal or words of hate that hurt. And I hope that during this time in which it is so evident in our culture how important words are, that this service will be a new opportunity for you and for me to reconfigure our speech, to remind ourselves of all of the ways that we can say the things that matter most and that we can say them with grace and love and kindness today. Welcome to worship. <laughs> 